Hello, and welcome to the introduction to the ESL program at the College of San Mateo. My name is Todd Windish, and I am an ESL professor at the College of San Mateo. In this video, I will introduce the levels of our program, the classes that we offer, and I will end by answering some common questions that students often have. Let's begin. Here is a chart showing the classes and levels that we offer. Most of our classes range from level two to level five and range from low intermediate to high intermediate to low advanced and high advanced. So most of our classes are either intermediate or advanced level classes. We offer classes in grammar and writing, listening and speaking, and reading vocabulary. These skills are taught together in the same class. So reading and vocabulary will be in one class. Listening and speaking will be in one class and grammar and writing will also be in one class. So you can choose whether you want to study grammar and writing or whether you want to study listening and speaking or choose both. So your schedule is flexible and the skills you choose are up to you. Now let's talk about what is taught in each of these classes. So for our grammar and writing classes, we have classes that range from low intermediate all the way until high advanced. Our ESL 400 class is a UC transferable course, as you can see right here, transferable to UC and CSU. And this is the last class before students transfer to English 100 or English 105. If you start in our lowest level, ESL 826, low intermediate, uh, you will do things like read an appropriate level book and write short academic paragraphs. Some of the grammar that you will study are verb tenses, modals, parts of speech, and basic sentence structure. After that class, we have high intermediate, where you will also read an appropriate level book, but this time you are writing academic paragraphs and an essay. So we're moving from one paragraph to multiple paragraphs. Some of the grammar you will learn includes gerunds and infinitives, sentence structure, joining words, articles and nouns, and verb tense review. In the next level up, our low advanced class, you will read a nonfiction book as well as some newspaper articles. You will write a non-text-based essay and text-based essays. So in this class, you learn how to write an essay using your own personal examples, but also how to write an essay and include examples from outside sources. Some of the grammar that you learn here includes noun clauses, adjective clauses, adverb clauses, and conditional sentences and editing strategies. Our highest level grammar and writing class, in this class, ESL 400, you will read an advanced nonfiction book and many newspaper articles. So the reading is increasing with every level. You will write several three to six page essays and a research essay. So what makes this level very different is now you are doing your own independent research and the teacher will show you how to do this and walk you through the research process. Some of the grammar that you learn in this class includes a full review of grammar, very, uh, very short, brief review of grammar, and you will also learn some sentence development and editing strategies. You do not need to start at the lowest level, right? You can start at, at any level that is right for you. Our listening and speaking classes. You'll notice for our listening and speaking classes, we only offer three levels, low intermediate, high intermediate, and low advanced. But this low advanced class is also good for our high advanced students. So if you are a high advanced student, you can also take this ESL 848 class. You know, many of the skills are similar between each class, it's just slightly different levels. So for example, in low intermediate, you will learn some listening based on conversations and basic academic lectures. You will do some presentations and some role plays and you'll learn both conversational and basic academic vocabulary. In 847, you also learn academic and conversational vocabulary. It's just at a higher level. 
And this time, the listening is a higher level as well. So you will listen to some intermediate level lectures and on academic and personal topics. Finally, in our highest level, which is ESL 848, low advanced, the listening is more advanced. You will listen to advanced lectures on academic topics and learn note-taking strategies. You will continue to do some presentations on more academic topics, and you will also learn vocabulary that is academic and conversational. These classes also have a small pronunciation element, but we actually offer separate pronunciation classes if you want to focus more carefully on pronunciation. And I will introduce those in a little bit. Our final group of our main core classes are reading and vocabulary. So in our ESL 856 low intermediate reading class, you will read approximately eight to 10 short reading passages and learn skills such as guessing meaning from context. Of course, you will also develop your vocabulary as reading is the best way to build your vocabulary. In 857, our high intermediate class, you're gonna do some more reading. You're gonna read 21 to four page news articles. So there's more reading and also longer because you are building your reading fluency. Right, you'll become a faster reader, a more comfortable reader. Some of the skills you'll learn are note taking and summarizing. And finally, in our highest level reading and vocabulary class, 858, low advanced, you'll read two books and several short stories. Some of the skills that you will develop are making inferences and reading a passage from reading a passage. And of course, you will continue to develop your vocabulary. We also offer classes in other skills outside of grammar writing, reading vocabulary, and listening speaking. We offer two pronunciation classes, ESL 887 and ESL 888. ESL 887 is about the individual sounds of English. In this pronunciation class, you practice your vowel sounds and your consonant sounds. So it will teach you the correct mouth position and the correct way to vocalize the individual sounds of English. ESL 888 is about rhythm, stress, and intonation. So this is about putting those sounds together, about the rhythm of English, the stress of English. When do you raise your voice and when do you lower your voice, right? We offer these two classes usually one or sometimes both every semester, and you can choose one or the other or you can take both in one year. So you can mix and match, it's up to you. We also offer ESL 898, which is a grammar review class. This is a great class to add to your writing class if you feel like you need more grammar practice, but anybody can take this class anytime as well. In this class, you will learn intermediate grammar structures such as verb tense, verb form, singular or plural nouns, and some advanced topics, such as dependent clauses and conditional sentences. Finally, we have our lab-only courses. These are five different courses offered at the ESL Center. The ESL Center is a special room that we have for ESL students, where you can work on computers, you can work with peer tutors, you can meet with professors, and it's a great place to build community as well and meet other ESL students. Each class from the lab only courses focus on a different skill. We have a reading lab only course, a vocabulary lab only course, writing or grammar lab only courses, and listening and speaking. These courses are only half a unit or one unit. They are a, they are a much smaller unit course than our other classes. And that is because these lab only courses focus on independent study. You will meet with a professor one on one for a short meeting, that professor will give you some advice about uh, what assignments to do. They will create a study plan with you and they will review homework. Then you will have some time to work on the work independently in the lab. Then you will meet with the professor again to review your work and assign you more work. So these courses are not traditional classes, right? It's more independent study, it's more one on one. You have less time with the professor and you will do more work independently. They're a good way to supplement or add 
a little bit more work to your semester if you want a little bit extra to do. They're also a great resource to review uh, if you've already finished a class and you want to go back and do a little bit more reading review or a little bit more vocabulary review. And they're a good way during the summer to keep practicing your skills without taking a heavy class that requires a lot of meeting time. Here are some frequently asked questions from students and some answers to help you. One, how do I find the right ESL class for me? Well, we will help you find the right level class. A counselor will meet with you to help you choose your classes. So we will find the right level for you. You do not need to start at the lowest level and go all the way to the top, right? If your level is advanced, you will start with advanced classes. If your level is intermediate, you will start with intermediate classes, but we will help you find the right classes for you. So similar question, do I have to start at the lowest level? No, you start at the level that is right for you. It might be a different level for different skills. For a speaking class, it might be higher than your writing class, for example, right? Maybe you are taking a level four writing, but a level three reading. That's totally okay. Everybody has different skill levels. Number three, do I have to take a class in each of the main skill areas? Do I have to take a writing class and a reading class and a listening speaking class? No, you can take as many or as few classes as you want to take during each semester. Some students take one ESL class their first semester. Others take three ESL classes their first semester. It's up to you. Can I take classes besides ESL? or do I have to take only ESL my first semester? And really that depends on your level. If you are at our low advanced level four or advanced level five level of ESL, you are probably ready to take other classes outside of ESL. Talk to your counselor about which classes you should take. So generally, if you're an intermediate student, we recommend focusing on ESL. But if you're an advanced student, you can start taking classes outside of ESL as well, and maybe add an ESL class to help you support that. It's really up to you. Just talk to your counselor and figure out what is the best option for you. If you need some more information, we recommend you contact one of these places to help you. If you're not sure where to start, you can always contact our ESL Center. And the, uh, the email address for that is CSM ESL Center at smccd.edu. It's a really great place for general information, but if you have more specific information, for example, if you're an international student, we recommend that you contact the International Student Program. You can contact them with askcsminternational at smccd.edu. If you're a student at San Mateo Adult School, it's probably a good idea to contact Kelsey Harrison directly. Her email is Harrison K, H A R R I S O N K, at smccd.edu. All other students, just contact our ESL Center. That's kind of our general hub for information and for help. And for specific questions about ESL classes, you can contact Amy Sobel. If you're, if you're asking about what kind of assignments a class might have, what to expect in a certain class. You can contact Amy, one of our ESL professors, and her email is sobel, S-O-B-E-L, at smccd.edu. We look forward to teaching you, and I look forward to seeing you in my classes in future semesters. Bye.